What's going on YouTube? It's that time of year. It's called Christmas. I'm gonna teach you guys how to play Christmas songs that are a must know, that everybody at your age should know, that you can play for people, you can play for whoever you want. So just pay attention. Let's get into it right now. Let's start with the Christmas song, right? It's pretty straightforward. So we'll do this one in E flat. Great key to do it in. If you know the E flat major scale, you're gonna start on the root and you're gonna go up the octave for the same note. One, one, seven, six, five, four, three, three, three in terms of like the note intervals, right? So Then you're gonna go from one to six. Right? Then you're gonna go from one to five, back to one. And then basically just going up the scale. And then it gets a little bit interesting when you get to this part because you play a couple notes that aren't really in the um in the scale So I'm gonna let you guys figure out the rest of that. When you get to the bridge, it's a little bit more challenging. So the good thing about Christmas songs is that a lot of you guys have already heard the song before, so that's a huge way to learn songs by ears. Like if you've heard it a million times before, now you can kind of hear what pitches you're going for. So decide what key you want to play it in. So this is E flat, right? So you know it's an E flat. So now all you gotta do is say, okay, I know it's an E flat, and I know the scale really well. So now. Okay, sing the note. So chestnuts roasting on an open foot, right? Whatever, whatever the the lyrics are, then you can kind of match that. So that's that one, right? All around E flat, pretty much, pretty ch pretty chill song. Number two would be Oh Christmas Tree. So we'll play this one in, in F major. You're gonna start on a low C. Right? C is the fifth note of the F major scale. So you start on C and then you go up to F. Now you're on F, right? And then play the first three notes of an F major scale. That's the beginning of the song. So. And then basically all you do here is you go from. Um, the third, back to the second, back to the third, to the fourth, and then you play the seventh, to the second, to the first. So, I know it's a little bit confusing when I say that, but I'm talking in scale degrees. The seventh note of the major scale is an E natural. You can play the E natural above the octave, or you can play it below the octave, right? Or above the staff, or below the staff. For this song, that E natural is below the staff coming back up to the F. So it'll sound like this. And then you go onto the bridge. So you play the C, which is the five, back to the A, which is the third, and then you play that to, up to a D, which is the sixth, back to the C, back to B flat, and back to A. So. Now you're on 
on the fourth right here. Your B flat's the fourth in the key of F, right? Then you play to the to the second. And then you play up to the fifth, which is C again. And then you play from the fourth back to the third, which is A. And then you play the melody again. Now those two notes right there are the flat seventh to the sixth. And then you play the part that we already played. That one's pretty easy as well. All stays around that F major. You don't really play any notes except for those last two notes right here. You don't play any other notes that aren't in the key. So every note is in the key of F. So when you think about it, there's only seven notes in a major scale if you don't include the octave. So pretty simple. You're, you got seven notes to choose from basically with the exception of the last little line there. So pretty easy to figure out. So the next song is another easy one, um, Carol of the Bells. Pretty simple, right? So we'll play it in G minor. So if you don't know the G minor, if you don't know the G minor scale, you gotta learn that. Essential. So Carol of the Bells starts on the flat third, and it goes to the second or the nine, if you want to call it that. And then it goes back to the root. So. And you play that over and over and over again. And then when you get to the next part, it goes from the five to the fourth, back to the five to the third, or to the minor third. And then, um, this is this, this is probably the most challenging part of the song. It's all in the minor key, right? So if you go down from the minor scale starting on the root, starting on G minor, all you do is you play down the scale, right? And then right there, when you get to that turnaround right there, you go from the fourth, which is C, back to the minor third, back to the fourth. And then you go back up to the fifth. And then you play, this, this is the most complicated line of the song right here, is you play starting on the fifth. You basically, if you, I would think about it as like major, like the five being major here. D major would be... This, is, this, is, this right here is... So the only two different notes is that B flat, which is normally a B natural, but it's a B flat, and then the C, which is normally a C sharp on a D major scale, it's just a, it's just a C, which is the flat seven. So C is the flat seven, B flat's a flat six, and there it is. So the whole song. And you keep playing that over and over again, and then you go to this part. And then you go. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. That's another great one. It's an A flat. So A flat major. Okay, I'm going to 
gonna leave that one to figure out, but the hint for that one is, it's in A flat. Once again, you don't really play a lot of notes outside of the key at all. At the beginning, I'll give you the beginning. So the beginning part, it's beginning to look, that, 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 that note on look. That look note is a flat five. And that key, E flat is the fifth, right? So D natural would be the flat five. Or the tritone. So that's the only note really at the beginning that you have to worry about. Everything else kind of stays around that key. Like right there, when I play that line, it's basically just F minor. F minor and, and, and A flat go together. F minor is a relative minor of A flat major, so that F minor scale fits perfectly. So that line right there. See how easy it is? When you know your scales, everything, with the exception of some rhythms, all the notes you can figure out easily because you know the scale. And a lot of these songs have the scales. You're playing the scales. Even like the, the line at the bridge, the line of the bridge of the song where it goes... If you do like, you know, any kind of exercise, like... Also, too, like, I practice my scales like that as well, so that line I don't even have to think about anymore. But if you practice your scales, like, put, play A major, like... Cool. So we got we got a couple other ones. Um, I would think about it in E flat major again. If it's in B flat, right? You start on the third and you work your way up. So you start on the third, fourth to the fifth, and then you play from the sixth to the seventh to the one. Right there, that's just six to five to four. Right, three, five, one. tricky right but but even that like not that hard with the exception of that one little passing line from B flat to to B natural to C this 
there's a cur there's a common theme with all these songs is that if you know the major scale and you know the minor scale, you can kind of pretty much learn them. It, this is unlike other songs where you don't know how they how they go if you've listened to it one time. A lot of these songs you guys have heard year after year after year, so you kind of know how it goes. So I would test yourself. I don't want to give it all away right now. I'm trying to help you guys with scale degrees and things like that. I don't want to give it all away and just tell you all the notes and positions and everything because of that, you're not really learning at that point. You gotta learn how to learn. And I think this is the best way to kind of learn these songs is listening to them, picking a key, learning your scale that goes around it, and then kind of figuring out, okay, listen to the record. Like it's gonna take you a long time to listen, play, listen, play before you get it right if you've never done it before. Another song that's a great one that I do is um Everyone right now should be able to play this song for somebody because it's a very, very easy song. It's in the key of F. You can think about it in F if you want. You're going to start on the seventh degree, right? So. That would be the seventh degree, so you're going to start on that. Then you're going to play to the fifth, which is C. Then you're going to play to the third. You're going to play from the third to the root, and then you're going to play from the root to the seventh. And then this part is the only part of the song until you get to the bridge that has notes that are in the key. So this note right here, this E flat, is the flat seven. So. Right? So it's that simple. Here's the challenge. So for anyone who is advanced and can play all these songs by memory, what you now want to do is take every song through 12 keys. So if it's Rudolph, right, then you can play Rudolph in F, right? So what you want to do is, okay, I played it in F, so now I'm going to play it in, in G flat. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the video for today. If you're new to this channel right now, please hit the like button, show it to a friend, hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications. We put out videos two days a week. Please follow me on Instagram as well, at Cus Campbell. You already know what it is. Learn those Christmas songs. Play them for somebody. Peace.